Things to consider when you turn a three bedroom house into a five bedroom, five ensuite HMO. Bathrooms. Get an ensuite, always start and point is the existing bathroom. Knocking down walls, knocking through doorways will always help you achieve maximum amount of bathrooms from the existing one. We've managed to squeeze two out of the old one and use the old existing ways to connect onto for every other point. Hallways. In a lot of these old properties, hallways are ripe, but they are a lot of wasted space, dead space. Now you can maximize the space by robbing Peter to pay Paul and giving all important additional square footage to some of the smaller bedrooms in the form of storage and en suites. Drainage, I go on about it, but it's something you have to consider. Utilizing old redundant spaces within these old buildings for old gas pipes that you no longer need are excellent for putting in wastage like soil stacks that are big and hard to facilitate getting on suites in some of those corners of the property. Communal space and kitchens. Having lots of communal space is actually a no-no. They become dumping grounds for pizza boxes and bikes. But having something that works really nice for the functioning kitchen is all important. Having a small kitchen space which ticks all of the regulation compliance boxes, number of units, right number of hobs, sinks and dishwashers, next to the communal lounge or dining area makes a fantastic selling point and it keeps the space really functional without offering too much space to attract unwanted items. And last but not least, don't be frightened to do some big building work. Gunning up floors, knocking walls down, putting up stud walls is what it's all about. Don't try and save costs on not doing the work. Get the property, rip down, start from the basics, and you'll end up with a better overall result.